the High Court has frozen six accounts of a supply chain manager at the Kenya Electricity Transmission Company, Ketraco, after the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission filed a petition that will allow detectives to investigate the officer. According to the EACC, the accounts, which amount to 58.6 million shillings, are spread across two different SACOs and registered under Peter Njehia and his wife. The EACC also has in its sights a clerical officer at the Ministry of Education who allegedly misappropriated 11.1 million shillings. Here's Raquel Mugai with all the details. For the next six months, Peter Mainanjay here, a senior manager supply chain at the Kenya Electricity Transmission Company, Ketraco, will have no access to 58,601,915 shillings held in various SACOs and investment accounts. Monies that the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission states are proceeds of corruption acquired through legally and irregularly engaging in the influence and award of tenders, procurement and payment of goods and services, and bribes. Three accounts are registered under Peter Njay here. Two at the Stima Sako Society Limited that hold 13.5 million shillings as share capital and 11.9 million shillings as alpha deposit. An additional 10 million shillings is held in the shares account in Unitas Sako Mununga. His spouse, Julie Helen Matu, also holds three different accounts at Unitas Sako Limited. 14 million shillings in total held in the Sako's new and old shares account system and 930,760 shillings held in the dividend account new system. According to EACC, between the periods of February 2010 and March 2021, which earned him a net salary of 35,764,757 shillings, Peter Njehia acquired over 40 land properties in Nairobi, Nakuru, Nyandarwa, and over eight motor vehicles registered in his name. Further analysis showing that the Ketraco Officers Bank and Sako Investment accounts have total credits of over 76 million and over 64 million in shared deposits, respectively. As investigations continue into how Peter and Jehia accumulated assets disproportionate to his known legitimate source of income, the ESCC has also set its eyes on a clerical officer at the Ministry of Education. It is alleged that the clerical officer added a non-existent secondary school said to be in Kakamega County to the list of the secondary schools which received funds from the government for free day secondary education. The school purportedly has 1,188 students. The officer is believed to have opened a personal bank account at Equity Bank, which was credited with 11,131,305 shillings between 22nd August 2017 and 18th June 2018. The officer's dealings were uncovered when publishers contracted by the Kenya Institute of Curriculum Development, KICD, could not trace the school on the ground while distributing the textbooks. The suspect spent the proceeds of this scheme on a Toyota motor vehicle valued at 2.5 million and also bought two parcels of land at approximately 1.8 million shillings. The remaining sum of approximately 7 million was withdrawn in cash on diverse dates. ESCC has however recovered 1.9 million shillings after the dealer repossessed the car from the suspect. Investigations are at an advanced stage. Rakel Mugai, Citizen TV.